So Henson's going to go grab these horses. He needs a riding horse. And they're all turned out. So Zara's a little excited to chase some horses. Chasing other horses on a stallion is not my... Ooh, you guys know already. I don't like doing that. I should have videoed earlier when Zara was going crazy in the trailer because he, he saw them. Henson makes him act like a, like a gentleman, but ooh, he was excited when he saw them. So we're going to go gather um, some cows that are on the other side of the tracks, just right over there. We're going to clean out that pasture. And that's why Henson needs a horse. We're pretty close to the arena. They're just turned out in this little arena pasture. So when, when uh, those guys go, they're going to go that way to the, to the arena down there. It's not that far. And then I'll just drive, I'll drive the pickup and meet them. So there they are, Henson is hanging back over here. Okay, I'm going to get in the pickup and we're going to go grab his horse and get on down to that pasture we need to gather up. Okay, Henson just made that look way too easy. He makes a lot of things look really easy like starting colts and riding them out for the first time. and all that other stuff. So I'm driving Jerry's pickup and it's a standard, see the, the deal, the gear shifter. So I'm like pretty old. I learned how to drive standard back in the day and it's a good thing I did because standard pickups are like a thing on ranches. So it's really come in handy that I know how to drive these pickups like dot um jerry's old first gen i can drive that oh, shoot i gotta turn right here sorry and this pickup's really hard to shift into reverse this is gonna make sure my clutch is all the way in see that's a, a 
was in fifth gear, not reverse. Henson's probably like, what is she doing? I missed the turn, okay? I was talking, I was talking to the people. Dibs and Vixen came in and then they went back out. So we got, we got the horses pinned now. And <gasps> Vixen's like, I'm going to do what I want to do. And I'm not going in that pin right now. And she just took off. Dibs followed her. I told you guys, I ain't lying when I say Vixen, Vixen does what she wants to do. Oh my gosh, they're going that way again. Jeez Louise. They need to go in this pin that's open right there. The freak. They know better. They're loving all this green grass that's growing. Because <sighs> of all the rains. Get back over here, you crazy mares. Zar's being really good. <laughs> Yesterday we had to gather some cows on the four-wheeler because it was like almost evening time. We are going to do our 4th of July festivities and the fastest thing was the four-wheeler. It was right there. We needed to get some bulls. Anyway, Henson told me to jump on with him and we loaded or gathered some cows with the four-wheeler oh my word it was rough dibs where are you going they know better see they know better brats Those two? They're getting tied up all day, he said. Huh? You can take him if you want. Okay. Well, while we're waiting on Henson, um, I'm going to do an update on this guy. Uh, so, we still have shoes on him. Remember, we found out that he had uh, laminitis. So, we were doing shoes and pads for a while and um, this last time we decided to just do the shoes and see how he did without the pads um, and he seems to be doing really well um, I'm not sure if he's ever going to reach the level of competition and barrel racing that I want him to I kind of feel like that might not be a possibility but we're still practicing um, so he's, he's doing so much better with his laminitis. I don't let him out in the pasture to eat green grass, which kind of sucks because I like turning my horses out. But he gets a lot of exercise and he needs it because of his body type, I guess the vet said. So he gets ridden a lot. He's, he's doing really good. Um, what do you got, Sensei? Well, there's his brother, Sensei. You're as sweaty as my horse? Yeah. Because it's hot or because you're all stressed out? It's hot. Look at him, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a, a muggy, humid day. I don't know. See, Zara got worked up. Yeah. He's looking for treats. He's a good boy. Let's get you some treats. Zar knows what treats are. She wouldn't let me catch her. Vixen? Yes. So I had to catch Vixen. And after I caught Vixen, I had to catch <laughs> Yeah, take me to take me. <laughs> I thought, well, who ran back out of the pen? Vixen? I, never, I turned my back for a split second and they well, were I was gone. I going to take them out because I didn't want them in there. They were supposed to go another pen. Oh, okay. And they, and they booked it. They booked it, Sal. Okay, Zar, let's see. Let's see my bucket here somewhere. Okay. Oh, 
is copy. Please copy. Oh, goodness. Why are you holding my shirt? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, I was chasing flies out of my trailer with it yesterday before I got out. I didn't want flies to sit in there, so I grabbed the shirt and I was like, get out, flies. Ugh, okay. So I leave my boots in the trailer so that I don't wear them around during the day because I don't want to wear, I don't want to wear my soles down. See, I've had these over a year. They still look pretty good. A lot of leather on them. Where is it? So, anyway, I'm changing my boots into my boots. Something else super exciting. Remember I told you guys that I didn't, I only had one breast collar? Henson made me a breast collar. Check it out. It matches my saddle really well. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about that. And don't forget, Ben Geisler, our saddle maker at aspensaddlery.com. Go check him out, put an order in. If you can, I don't know how booked he is now. I haven't talked to him for a bit, but maybe I should have Henson talk about his saddle um, instead of videoing the rest of this gather. I think I'm gonna do that. Because gathering cows, we, we like gather cows all the time. It's not that. It gets boring after a while, and I'm like, should I show another video of us gathering cows? No, that's boring. So I'm going to have Henson talk about his saddle before, before we leave. All right. Well, I got this saddle from Ben Geisler. Uh, I think he's originally from Idaho. Pretty sure. And what intrigued me about the saddle of course was uh, the look i like the look of it and i really like that uh ben learned from um dill harwood so that's kind of what really got me to buy a saddle from him because um dill harwood is well of course uh, a legend a legend saddle maker <laughs> so um and I mean, I, I'll never get one from him. So I thought I'll get one from Ben. I like just the look of it, the the roundness, how he makes everything real round looking. And um, I wanted it all rough out. I used to not really like rough out because it would stick to you. But as I got older, I, I like being more down in the saddle. I don't feel like I could ride one as good as maybe I used to. But I had it for quite a while, I don't know how long. I like the rigging. I like a 7 8 um, flat plate rigging. And I ride pretty much nothing but young horses. The saddle fits pretty much everything I ride. But I like that type of rigging. Um, and then this one has a latigo right here. You can adjust on both sides. Yeah, I like the ladder go to be adjustable on both sides just so. Because I'm riding a bunch of different horses, so they're not, it's not always the same. I have to adjust it all the time. And we adjust cinches too, right? Yeah, I, I usually ride a small cinch. I think this is maybe a 30 or 32. But anyway, um, I like the twist in the stirrups and the fender. It comes like that. Yeah, it just makes it so you you don't have to find your stirrup. I mean, it's always turned out. Your foot just goes right in. Now I like to look. Everything's rough out. I just like that look. I think it's a cool saddle. Good saddle. Oh, this side. It has a little Cheyenne roll. I like the Cheyenne roll just to grab it and throw it on. That's the only purpose, really. <laughs> and it looks good. And I had buck and rolls just for looks too. No, you don't. Pretty much. I mean, they don't do much. I mean. I feel like they do. Maybe a little bit. A lot. I don't know. 
pretty much if you can ride the horse, you don't, you don't need them. I can't ride a horse, so I put them on. <laughs> so yeah, that's the saddle. And he made your breast collar too. I made my breast collar. If, um, more for a big horse. But yeah, nice saddle. Looks cool. Works good. Um, so you've had it more than five years. I don't know. There's a year in here. Really? Somewhere. Might be on the other side. Anyway, several years. Of all those years, has anything broken or worn no. or anything? I mean, it's worn. I mean, it looks rough. But no, it's not broke. It just looks rough. Yeah, it's stamped right here. I don't really know. I don't really know what the stamp means, okay? Oh. <laughs> be honest. But I know they stamp it with like year and maybe how many that year. 18, I don't know. What did it say? 1810? It says 1810. It's made in 1810, so it's really old. <laughs> really old. <laughs> Ben Ben could probably tell us. Ben is a YouTuber too, so Ben comment in the comments. I'll pin your comment and um, tell us. Okay, so mine. Okay, yours. So Danielle's is I think it's fourteen, maybe fourteen and a half inches. Mine's, I think I wanted a fourteen and a half. Mine's like fifteen and a half. And hers is a swell fork. And there. we were talking we we're talking about the seat size. Yeah, the seat size is it's Probably, yeah, like 14, 14 and a half, I don't remember. So it's small. And it's lightweight compared to mine. Uh, just Well, I wanted him to make it lightweight, and Danielle did too. So we put it in skirt rigging. So this, the skirt and the rigging's all together, which will make it a little bit lighter. The fenders, the skirt leathers are smaller. They're like two inch instead of like three. I think usually they're three. These are so just a little bit lighter. Uh, it doesn't make it any less heavy duty, just a little lighter. And so yeah, the swells are like 13 inches. And mine, because it's a eight fork or slick fork or wade, whatever you want to call it, wade, it's like nine inches. But they both feel good, both ride good. Hers is, let's look at the numbers on this side. Yeah, let's go. And hers has a, a smaller horn. Uh, more of a, just a, a rope, rope and horn, uh, I don't know what they call them. It's, just, it, it's a small horn, the other one's a big, a bigger post horn. Henson prefers the bigger, he told me the other day. Yeah, if I'm roping something, I like the bigger. I mean, I could use the smaller, but the bigger, I don't know. I like the bigger. And I don't rope a bunch. So. <laughs> Fun fact, guys, Henson is not a team roper. He does not team rope. But. 20 something. 20, I don't know. He was a bull rider, and we need to do his introduction video so he can tell you all about his. 2020? I don't know what it says. Adventures. It's like, it says, like, yeah, I think it says 2020. 2026. Something like that. So yours made in like 2020, I'm pretty sure. So mine's probably 18, so. Oh, okay. But yeah, other than. We're pretty much the same besides the rigging and the swales. Has the same uh, type of round skirt, which I like. I just like, think it looks good. Uh, it has Cheyenne roll. Both have Cheyenne rolls. I think that looks good. Looks cowboy. out there's a big storm coming in clouds dark clouds all around us so we'll see if we can get her done we're gonna have to split up and um, try and get this done faster so I think I'm gonna go left and Henson's gonna go right is that the plan Okay.
found this cheeky bull all by itself. Pushed him this way. He thought he was going to run from us for a little bit. But we found a friend right there. The rain hasn't hit us yet, so we might actually get this all done and cleaned out. I saw lightning over there earlier. there's no sunflowers on the other side of the fence I don't know <laughs> <laughs> 